This is the Getting to Know ArcGIS for Desktop Textbook. We're in Chapter 4 and we're doing Exercise 4C. I have left the map open from 4B, but it tells us we need to open a new one. So uh, open the example 04C, EX04C. So let's go to File and let's choose Open. And we're in Chapter 3 here, so I need to go up a level and open up Chapter 4. And we want to go to AX04C, and MXD means it's a map. Click on Open, and we don't need to save. You only have one map open at a time, so before it opens this one, it gives us the opportunity to save the previous one. And apparently we have some problems with some red exclamation marks over in the table of contents. Uh, this is going to happen when you can't it can't find the data and what that almost always means is uh, it's probably got the right file name but it's probably got the wrong uh, folder name so uh, in order to fix this let's right click on US major cities and go to properties and um, go to source here and actually I'm doing this differently from the way they do it in the book uh, what we want to do is we want to so we see that the name of the file uh, will be a feature class here so it's US Cities PM and it says it's in C users Amy Collins desktop data okay so this was created on the desktop of somebody named Amy Collins and she had a folder on there called data and in that folder was uh, US Cities PM and uh, so if you copy a file from somebody else's uh, system and they didn't use relative file names then you're going to end up with a bad path information here so I need to set the data source I need to know where USC's PM is in order to do this and I'm going to go to chapter 4 here and I'm going to go to data and uh, USC's PM is right there and click on add and click on OK and now uh, we've got the US cities and um, now let's try it their way. Let's go over here and right click on uh, Graticule and go to data and repair data source. And um, I want to go to um, world GDB. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, let me cancel this. I'm going to right click on this and do it the other way. Let's go to properties here and it's uh, lat long. So let's set data source and I want to go to lat long right there and add that and click on OK. And I want to go to this one and go to properties and I want to go to uh, countries. So there it is. It's in my world GDB. Click on add and click on OK. And apparently, if you do it the way they said in the book, you only have to do that once, not three times like I just did. So um, the method they described in the book is better. Uh, now we're on page 108, number four at the bottom. On the menu bar, click File, Map, Document, Properties. So let's go to File and um, Map, Document, Properties, and click on it. And in the lower portion of the dialog box, um, there is an option on path names and uh, store relative path names to data sources and we always want to do this that way if you move your folder someplace uh, see right now uh, it's going to think everything is in my desktop in a folder I'm sorry in my documents uh, users top in my documents folder in a folder in that side of that called ArcGIS and then in the default GDB and if I copy this to another system, it's going to look for a user named Tom with a documents folder called ArcGIS and a default GDB, and uh, ain't going to work. So uh, I want relative path names, and click OK. And we always want to do this. And now we're turning to page 110, and in the table of contents, right-click U.S. Major Cities and click um, Zoomed Layer. And since the only stuff in that layer is this stuff right here, uh, it's going to zoom in for us. 
and on the menu bar we want to insert a deck uh, data frame so I'll click on insert and data frame and it will draw an empty data frame for us here and it should look pretty much like uh, page 110 uh, let's check out something here uh, if we go to view um, let's see we are currently in layout view not data view if I go to data view you just see the map although I'm not sure where the map uh, went let's go back here to uh, layout view and layout view is what you use when you want to have more than just the map you want to have basically something you can print and show to people um, first you work with the data and you create your map and then if you want to show it to people you add things like legends and titles and, and some other information so that's what we're doing right now um, now what I want to do is go to page 111 number 7 in the layout window move the mouse pointer over the new data frame and we'll get a four headed arrow and I want to drag it straight down below kind of center it underneath here about like that and it should match the top of page 111 uh, move the mouse pointer over the lower right uh, hand handle here they call it an anchor I call it a handle we get a two headed arrow uh, drag it to something about like this is what it looks like on the bottom of page 111 and it says now drag the upper left corner so that it is under the map like this and now we've got a data frame here that we can put data in and in the table of contents right click the first data frame and we want to choose properties which is always down at the bottom on the data frame properties dialog box click the general tab and for the name put uh, United States and then click OK and click the second data frame in the table of contents this one down here new data frame and um, click it once click it twice and now you can edit it and we're going to type in world countries and hit enter now we're going to go to page 114 uh, item number 12 click the data view button in the lower left corner of the layout window and here's my layout window and there's the data view button so we're going to click that and it says the display window is empty because the active data frame contains no layers so that's world countries right here uh, let's go back up here and click on the United States and see if we get something and I'm not seeing the United States anything showing up here either. Uh, let's go to world countries. And whoops, apparently I missed ocean back here. Let's go back and right click on properties and go to uh, set data source. We're looking for something called background. And uh, background and add and click on OK. And now let's go to world countries. And we're on number 13 on the bottom of page 114. And in the table of contents, right click air pollution by country and click copy. And I'll bet we're going to paste it down in world country. So let's go down here and right click and choose uh, paste. And it says we also want the ocean and the graticule. So let's uh, copy this and then go down here and um, paste. And then let's go to ocean and let's go to copy and then let's go down here and do a uh, paste. And obviously, I have to rearrange my order of items here. Move ocean down to the bottom. And there we go. Okay, now we're on page 115. Uh, we just did the on your own part there. 
and except I did it the hard way. It says use control key to select both layers at once, and we did reorder them. And number 14 says switch again to the layout view if necessary. On the menu bar, click view and layout view, or click the layout view button down here at the bottom. And now I've got two maps in my layout over here. This layout view, uh, in addition to being able to add um, legends like this and titles and you know credits and stuff like that, um, it's also a way to show multiple maps. So actually, I've got you know two maps over here, and I'm going to show both of them over here. Uh, it says click any anywhere in the white area of this page. Uh, to clear the selection of the lower frame. Right now I've got handles around this, so I'm going to click here and the handles will go away. And it says it will still have a dashed line to show that it's the active frame. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there is a slight dashed line around the outside. In the table of contents under the United States frame, right click Graticule and click Remove. So let's go, actually I can just turn that off and uh, it'll have the same effect. And then I want to go down here and I want to remove it. I'm just going to turn it off down there as well. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to go to page 118 and I want to click in an empty space near the arc map toolbars. So let's go up here and click on an empty space near the arc map toolbars. And you see I got the layout toolbar. I'm going to click on that to turn it off and that little toolbar that was down here a minute ago is no longer there and it says to save your work. Let's go to the file menu and do save as and uh, we're going to put it in the my data folder and we'll just call it EX04C and click on save. And that's the end of chapter 4.